Hi, uh, this is just a very, very quick video. Um, I've basically managed to pull off a firmware mod for the TDH3. So this is just a proof of concept. It's not really useful in its current form. It's just there to show, yes, it is possible to modify this firmware. So from now on, things are gonna get interesting. So let me show you what I've done so that you can see that this does actually work. So at the moment, you can see my radio there. Uh, I've got it set on a PMR channel, I think, but if I turn up the volume, you can tell by that static that it's in FM mode. So what I'm gonna do now is I am going to start the station software and I am going to flash my modification there okay so click start here and I've got to do this with one hand because I'm holding the other with a the phone there we go and we are flashing and we're done so now if I turn the volume up we haven't got that harsh static anymore it's definitely in USB mode now at the moment it's just USB everywhere I haven't got anything in there to switch it between like USB AM and FM but that is coming now that I know that I can do this and I can modify the firmware you can see here in Ghidra my little code cave here which is doing this it's basically detouring the BK4819 register setting function jumping to my function testing if the register that's being set is the modulation register and if it is it's altering it so that it's USB but that's it so now we can let the mods commence see you later